In today's video, my vehicle collection. One Marvel and all other Star Wars. Welcome everybody, Darth Rock, back for another collection video. Someone requested that I do a vehicle video, so I've actually got a little bit more than I thought. So there's one Marvel, the rest of Star Wars, a bit of Lego in there too, so there's some big stuff. We'll start small and we'll work our way up to the biggest stuff I've got. So let's jump straight in. I'll, I'll start with the Marvel just to get it out of the way. Um, this, the Ghost Rider bike here and then we'll start going through the rest of the Star Wars. Let's jump on and move the stuff aside. So first things first, the Ghost Rider motorcycle. And this thing is really, really cool. I had my eye on it for a long time. All these flame pieces just look absolutely fantastic. It really, really looks nice. They are removable. All of those flame pieces can actually detach from the bike, including this panel at the front to make it look like a a standard motorbike essentially, except the wheels that you can't change those tyres, but all in all I display it like this, the other side so you can't see those screw holes, and that's an awesome piece, and I've actually got one sent away to Aussie Bluetooth Snaggletooth, Aussie Blue Snaggletooth, yep, so I'll get that away to you my friend, this thing is awesome, comes with the Johnny Blaze as well there, which is pretty cool with an articulated mouth. Yeah, really awesome bike. It's the only non-Star Wars item I have, but you can see yourself why I've got this in my collection because it is absolutely stellar. I really want to figure out a way to highlight the um, the flaming a bit more just to make it stick out more with a bit of light. So that's something I'm sort of in the process of doing. But yeah, that is very, very cool. Right, we'll move on to the Star Wars side of it all now, I guess. But yeah, really cool bike. Really, really cool. Let's get you another look at that as it comes around. Fantastic. Oh, righty. So we're pretty much going to go with that, the rotator for most of these. Because they don't fit. <laughs> but yeah, the Lego Imperial TIE Fighter. This is from the Solo line. And I, this is awesome. Big, big fan of the Imperial, as you know. Very, very cool ship. Imperial TIE Fighter. The blasters in here as well. The wings can come off. Yeah, pretty cool Lego. Got the logos as well. We're just going to go through each one and look. We're not going to go too deep into it. But yeah, so that is the Imperial TIE Fighter from Solo. And if I fly that away, I'll fly something else in. I'm not going to make the sound. <laughs> Whoops. Luke Skywalker X-Wing. This thing's cool. Really like this. There's the... Yeah. About a year's worth where I was getting a lot of Lego um, after The Last Jedi. So I picked up a lot of Lego during that time. And to be honest, with Solo around, I was able to pick up a lot of Imperial, which we all know I love. So it's a pretty good X-Wing, though, to be honest. I like that. And then I recently figured out, in case you're unsure, that pops out at the bottom. So you can essentially display it with the wings open. So if you do that like I have on the floor, actually a pretty cool looking pose. In the attack position. You've got R2 and Luke obviously as well. Be a very cool piece for Sex Wing. Very, very cool for, for Lego. I'd like to get some vintage stuff, but I wasn't into any of that at the time, so it sort of went to the Lego. Yeah, Luke Skull because excellent. It's pretty sweet. Right. Next, we'll save the big ones. There's three big ones, and we'll do them last. 
And next up we have the AT-ST again from the, oh, it's just from the Rogue One line actually. These will be dust. This was a lucky score in the bookshop, this Lego piece. Very lucky to find this I was. But it's an awesome set. You can move the head as well, which is quite cool. The legs do move as well. Oh, that moves, that moves. The top opens up. You've also got just the wee opening hole like they would use. And you've got the wee driver inside there. But it's a pretty sweet piece. Pretty cool indeed. One of my favourites. I think there's something missing. <laughs> ATST Rogue One. Right, let's bring in a black series. Emphy's Nest Swoop Bike. An excellent, excellent vehicle. Um, I will leave a link if I remember to the review greats I've recently did of this because this thing is an absolute beast. Look how big that is. That's awesome. And the detail, everything about it is just fantastic. Really, really like it. It was something I was hesitant of until I got it, took it out of the box, and absolutely fell in love with it. it obviously, comes with Infus Ness as well. So it's hard to show this one off. So I will leave a link to the review grate, which review grates are updated reviews or re reviews of older stuff when I, well, I personally didn't have everything to do decent videos quality wise and really know what i was doing so review greats are just my way to bring them back for you but yeah highly recommend checking that out right we'll jump on to the next now here again from the lego lines is the imperial landing craft i believe or yeah imperial landing craft so it's a, it's a carrier but i this was an exclusive to a place called toy world here but I, this thing was cool. It came with Obi-Wan, another R2. Um, the whole side here opens up, which is really, really awesome. And you've got a, you'll see on the other side as it comes around. And you've got your wings too. So I've just done this for display purposes now. Flying side and a landed side. <laughs> but it's just, it's a really, really awesome looking piece. And it's just got so much to it. I love the little ramp that comes out of it here. And again, all of this opens up, same as the other side. So you can you can store four plus figures in here. Plus you've got the ramp in that in the middle as well. You've got the front as it comes around. It's actually, oh, I was about to speak too soon. So it's actually sitting on there okay, just. Let me give you a bit of a look. Bit closer there if it comes around but yeah this is one this is a favorite of mine i really like the ship um it needs a bit of a dust the unfortunate white but then we'll do it next the next one came out and i had to have it there was no time in it um there was no way i was ever getting the original i think ucs one so yeah this is the imperial landing shuttle and it's a nice nice piece Right, next piece. The Imperial Shuttle, and this one came out, I believe it was this year, the 2020 version, 2021. This is, oh yeah, we'll, we'll look a bit deeper into it and just, just let it spin and see its awesomeness. It just looks so cool. I'm a massive fan of the ship. And this just looks amazing. I'll fold out the wings definitely. As it comes around, the front does open up forwards. Instead of the other, it went the opposite way on the shuttle. But yeah, that thing, this is cool. Look at that. And the middle here also opens that way. And that's got Luke and Vader inside there. And this thing's heavy. You've got to be, make sure you grab it from the long stem or else it all sort of comes up. But this, yeah, I keep saying it, but this is an absolute favourite. I'm a huge fan of the ship. Imperial all the way. 
and let that come around. We'll, we'll pop the wings out in a minute. It's just, I, I need to figure out a way to display it like that too because it looks so cool. I will stop it and we will fold out the wings and then we will move on. Where's the button? Yeah, there's Luke and Vader in the middle there. So if I pop that down, click. And then we get the wings down like that. How awesome is that, folks? So you hold it by that piece. That is awesome. That is awesome. Oh, bumped bits at the back. It's hard to show these because they're so big, but the problem is they're only going to get bigger from one more. Then, yeah, I'm probably going to have to hold the camera. But, yeah, awesome. Lego Imperial Shuttle from 20 this year. Just before we continue, just take a quick second to hit the like button down below, subscribe if you are not, goal to 1k this year, and feel free to talk to me in the comments. But let's carry on. Next up, Luke's Land Speeder. And this thing is, again, amazing. Like, you probably tell now by most of my collecting, I'm picky on what I get. If it doesn't really look good, I probably won't bother with it too much. But yeah, this thing here, oh yeah. I would have paid full price. I can't remember if I did or not, but yeah, the detail on this is absolutely amazing. They've given it so much as well. I'll open up the hood once it's passed around again. Just bring that up. And you can just see the detail. You've got the dent at the front there as well. Just all of the, everything they've put to it. You could just gun on the side. All the detail along the side here these panels also open I believe one's storage and one's like an engine piece so we'll let you have a look at that as it comes around this is definitely probably if not my favorite vehicle I own um, but it's hard to pick because the next three are pretty and pretty damn cool yes yeah, so you can have a good look at that there the engine yeah, they've really put, they really did pull a lot into this vehicle. I'll pop the hood up and let that come around again as well. Sorry for the light there. I hope it's not annoying. Yeah, that is nice. I like that. Looks good in there as well. Like they definitely did a good job to, um, you know, give it the detail it requires. I feel like I've missed something in there and there's something I don't know about. So tell me if I'm right. That looks suspicious. But yeah, this is an awesome set. Came with the updated Luke and all of his items as well. Really, really cool. Right, um, just scanning because... One, two, three. Right, so the last three are big. So I may need to hold the camera for these ones because it's going to make life a bit easier. Right, let's do it. Right, so I apologise for any wobbles. Next up is the Force Awakens Millennium Falcon. This thing's pretty good for its price too. It came with the two figures from the Force Awakens. I mean, the detail in it, it's not, it's not bad. For what the price, I'd love... a a um, vintage collection or a legacy or such would just be the perfect addition. But getting stuff like that in this country are just ridiculously overpriced. It's got sounds as well. But when it's flying, that changes. My drive's broken. We've also got, you know, which it just sits on display to be honest, so it's a Nerf, it's a, got a Nerf gun there, and the back also comes off, if I can get that off with my hand, yep, I can, which is pretty neat, so for what it is, that's not a bad piece at all. 
I'm going to just cut this bit into the Like I said, it's yeah, a bit harder to show it because of the size. So well, I'm just trying to be steady as I can, folks. So bear with me. But yeah, pretty cool to have a Millennium Falcon in the collection, that's for sure. Right, and if we move along to the right side, taking a via past the centre, to this guy. Pretty just sticks in the way. This is the first order Star Destroyer. And this thing is, as you can see, pretty big. Um, and it's got a lot. <laughs> it's quite, the building it was quite fun, to be honest, because obviously all the little bits and pieces on here to give it some, you know, depth and detail. But yeah, how cool, <laughs> how cool is that? <clears throat> That is awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so if we come back up here, I'll turn it back around. Whee! Now, this opens up. And there's Snoke sitting in there, talking on hologram. And then we do this. So this actually has an interior. And I really hope you can see it, because it's a bit dark in this area. So you've got the middle bit there. With the walkway, like you often see them standing with the big mirror at the front window. We've got Hux here and a bunch of troopers, BB 90. <coughs> a bunch of First Order just hanging out, doing nothing. Snoke, you've got the Praetorian Guard as well. I've set it up for a bit of a display, and even Kylo Ren having a bit of a patty and smashing up some stuff, so as he does, and they're running away. So that is pretty cool that I like how it actually opens up. This is definitely was definitely value for money in my opinion, the Star Destroyer. That is very cool. Right now I'm gonna open the cabinet and we're gonna go down. Whee! Past the Lukes. Just did a video on them. To this guy. The absolutely awesome. ATM6 Lego. This thing is huge. As I said, these two here are the biggest sets I have. But this thing was, again, fun to build. There's so much to it. I hope you can see it all right in there. Keep the Lego in the cabinet if I can, because they get dusty. So you've got your driver in here. We've got this big gun. I think I just have to remount that, actually. You know, it does actually slide in and out. You can turn it and it shoots all those pellets. And it opens up very well. Sorry for the darkness. So that's the inside. Let the light through. <laughs> Sorry if I cover the mic too. See, so yeah, there's so much to it. And it's really, really cool. Absolutely awesome. I'll try and give you a, just a, a general size wise next to a black series 6 inch that's what we're looking at and it's not particularly standing straight so that is awesome look back up there it's day right well that's that's all of my vehicles my friends I don't have many more to show you so um I know it's been a long one but as I said Yep, someone requested this, so I thought, I've actually got a bit more than I thought, so I'm going to do that video now. Um, and just to mention, my birthday is coming up um, 7th of August, it's my 40th. I will be doing a live stream, um, so I'll get that up so you can see when that's coming up very soon. And yeah, 40, wow. And this is what I do, love it. Yeah, so yeah, I hope you can join me for my 40th birthday stream. I'll show off anything that I've picked up uh, for my birthday. Um, we'll have a chat as we do. I have got a few more VCs lately, so I might show you some of that stuff as well. Looking awesome. Yeah. But yeah, this is the room for those that aren't, don't know. <laughs> Love it. 
All right, my friends, I will love you and leave you. And until the next one, I did review the spawn. Until the next one, give into the dark side. And may the force be with you all. Thank <laughs> you.